Hi everyone, this is Rita Holmes, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator um, in Ohio. I um, am coming to you to bring you another fun fold. This is my fourth week in doing a fun fold um, card. And um, so I want to show you that it's another easy card. But right now I'll get things out of the way for my business. I have a November host code if you do not have a demonstrator and um, would like to order. Um, you can use my host code. Go into my um, website, RitaHolmes.StampinUp.net. I'd be happy to help you. I'd also be happy to help you if you would like to join Stampin' Up. Um, I also have a Facebook group, Stamp Crazy VIP, where I do these same videos live every Tuesday morning at 10 o'clock. And as I do these videos, I also have a PDF that I put on my um, Facebook page in the files for everyone to have and this is the PDF for this card that I call a card in a card so um, anyway this is all the directions and the and the dimensions that I cut my papers so you're more than welcome to go over there and get that I also would like for you to share my video if you would and um, hit the like button if you like it or leave me a comment that would be great I would um, enjoy that also um, so I am going to go ahead and get to my card and I will tell you that this card that I'm making today the one that is the sample I'm making I am using product from uh, what will be coming out in our uh, mini catalog from the June or January to June 2021 so, um, it's not available yet, but I wanted to show it and be able to showcase it a little bit so you would have an idea of something that was coming in the catalog. Um, at the end of the video, I will show you all of the stuff that I used, and I will show you the paper, the different sides of the paper. I can do that, and I will even show you what the catalog is going to look like come January when we'll all be able to order new refreshing stuff to get us started for the new year of 2021 and hoping that it's going to make a um, big difference that our 2021 will be better so we will see about that okay so I am going to go ahead and show you a few more samples that I made um, as far as this card the fun fold is you have a card inside of a card, okay? I used the Stampin' Up! note cards for this, and I used, um, I just used the note card part out of here, and it has the envelopes with it, and I know I can't use it for this card, it's too big, but what I want to do with my envelopes is I'm going to take and cut me cardstock that fits right in it, just one piece, like a postcard, to make little thank you notes and different things to send that doesn't take much paper. And you'll just be decorating the front like a postcard and writing on the back of it. So I'll be able to utilize my envelopes and my cards in two different ways. So um, they do come in Whisper White and Very Vanilla. I mean, Very Vanilla, not no, Vanilla. Um, so I'm going to show you a couple cards that I made. This is the sample we're going to do. Here's a Christmas card with a mousse. I did a little bit different. I ended up cutting a circle scallop here to um, kind of add a little bit to that. Use the mousse and you open him up and there's the trees and then open him again and there's the tree with some, pay with some DSP. So you can decorate these in all different ways. This one's very simple. It's paper um, with, I just did the circle like I did on the moose tree. And I just used sayings on this one and made a Christmas card. Very easy, but I thought the paper was busy enough. I didn't really need a whole lot more with it. And then I did one with the coffee perks, the press on set. Um, And this is the card I made with that. I actually paper pieced this in here. Did um, a little strip of paper there. And then I used actually my circle 
made it match when I laid it down and then just stamped a sentiment on there in the front. So these are some different ways you can do this card. Um, I didn't know what it was car called, so I do call it a card and a card. So let's get started um, with this. What we're going to use is a piece of Poppy Parade that's eight and a half by five and a half folded at four and a quarter, and that's the front of our card. Okay. Then I'm going to have my note card that came in my set, which is actually seven by five, um, scored at three and a half inches. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm not going to put that inside my card yet, but I'm going to score it and set it to the side. Then I have a piece of the DSP. This is a new DSP um, that is coming out. It is called Fine Art Floral Designer Series Paper. Most of them are fl uh, floral on one side, and then a uh, like this is a watercolor design on the back that's really pretty plain that's easy to use so what I'm going to do right now um, this is cut five and a quarter by four I'm going to take my Tombow glue and I'm going to glue my I'm going to make sure I get my edges but because I'm going to cut that circle out I want to make sure I get a lot of glue in my center that's going to hold that down so there we go then I'm going to take and I'm going to glue this onto the front of my card. Okay, I'm going to let that sit for a minute. And while it's sitting, I'm going to get my um, stamp and cut and boss machine out. So I'm going to move my card because we do have to cut our circle out. And what we're going to be using is the layering circles, and I'm going to use the third one, one, two, three, from the largest set of circles that come in the layering circles, okay? So, let's get the machine out, and we will go from there. Here's the machine. I'm going to be using the platforms one, two, and three on the bottom here. I will take my card and lay it out flat because we don't want to cut the back. We just want to cut the front. So I'm going to lay my card on there. I'm going to take my die and I'm going to bring it down about three quarters of an inch from the top. And kind of center it or center it the best I can put my plates on there I always hold it until I get it wedged into my machine and then just roll it through okay let me put these plates back down we don't need those move my machine out of the way we're done with it so there's the hole that I've done and I didn't use my circle inside of my card um, but I'm going to save it because I might use it I'm going to be using this paper again at some point so I'm going to save it and maybe use it another time so now what I'm going to do is I've got my um, note card ready so my fold is on the left like our regular card to open up this card our fold is going to be on the right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on my Tombow glue and I want this card to stay in there pretty good so I add a little extra in the center and I'm just going to take this and I'm going to center it in my card okay I'll rub that a minute let that really get situated there we want to make sure this card lays kind of flat so after we get it in there I score several times while I'm doing this and getting it done 
So there we have our area where we're going to stamp. So I'm going to take the Bumblebee ink and I'm going to take the head of my flower, ink it up. Don't smash it in your pad, just ink it up lightly. I'm going to stamp my flower. Then I'm going to ink it up again because I stamped one on the inside here and I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I have both of my flowers already stamped. Okay, let's close this one up. We're done with that. We are going to use the old olive, which will be our leaf that we put on. And our leaf is too big to stamp like this, so we will be opening our card. So just ink up your leaf really good. Open the card. And that'll fit right up in under your flower. My leaf right there didn't get a lot of the ink off. Let's try that again. Well, it's going to stay like that. I made a shadow. That'll be okay. You always have some kind of something going on, right? Just a dead leaf. Okay, now we're going to take the Poppy Parade, and I'm going to take the Happy Birthday, and I'm going to put that right here beside my leaf. Them. There we go. So that you don't see that when you have your card shut. So let's go ahead and close all those up. We're done with them. So now all we need to do, we need to take our letters. And these come in the stamps and the die set that goes with this stamp set. And they cut out individually and they say, just want to say... So, we're going to go ahead and put those on. And what I do is I use, um, I'm going to put a piece of, I have a piece somewhere, of scrap. I'm going to lay that down to do this in case I get um, glue. I do use my Tombow glue and I use it very lightly. And I just follow the letters. And I don't have to get it everywhere. I'm not going to get that at the top of the T. I want that to hang out a little bit over my... Right there. So you can just give some more dimension with the flower. We're going to do the want... You don't have to get a lot of glue. You just want enough that's going to hold the letters down. Again, I'm not going to get that T because I might place it over. There we go. And then we'll do the two. I got my glue. We'll take the word two. And then again, I'm not going to do the top of the T. But I want to get enough glue on there that's going to hold that down. Just want to, and then we're going to put say, and when you open it up, it'll say happy birthday. Now the say goes all the way on the DSP, so I'm not going to worry about leaving anything. I don't have to worry about that, not putting glue somewhere. So we're going to take that. And add that to our card. So it says, just want to say, there we go. Make sure they're all glued down once you're done. There we go. So we can get that out of the way. So our card is done. It's a really, really simple card to make. Especially when you use the note cards because you're not having to cut those. Um, in a little DSP, um, you don't have to use DSP. You could use an embossing folder on the front, whatever you would like. Um, my stem looks good with that shadowed. I kind of like that. Mistakes are sometimes good.
Mistakes are sometimes good. I always say there's never a mistake in stamping. It's always an embellishment opportunity. Um, so here's my card. Just open it up. It says, just want to say happy birthday. And then here you can write a little note. So that is how you do this card. Love it. Let me, here is my sample. And here is the one I made. Oh, I forgot. I did take an... Because the flower is so plain, and that so what I did is I took a pen, and if you watch some of my older videos, I did one on doodling with your stamps, and I just kind of add some dots here and there. Just you can do whatever. And then it just adds a little bit of dimension to your card. And I'll open it up. And I just do the same here. And as you notice, I just... You don't have to be real precise in doing this. You can add lib it all. It's a flower. No flowers all look alike. So, there we go. I doodled on that. So, there our card is done. Again, I'll show you the quick samples. There's my coffee card. Here's my just the same card, my Christmas card. And then here's the card with the moose. So that is several different cards that you could see. Now let me show you something about... I'll show you the new stamp set that will be out in January. And it will go till June. Um, here's the stamp set that I used. I used this flower and this leaf. Um... And here's another two stamp flower, another flower, and um, here's the die cuts. It says, just want to say, and when you cut it out all at one time, but the, the words are not connected, so it's easy to use. Here's two little um, frames for these words, and then some flowers. And um, so you can buy this as a bundle when it um, is in the new catalog, or you can buy them separate. But these are the stamps and the dice set that I used. Here is the paper that I used. Let me get it over here. I had it out this morning showing it in another video. This is the one I used on my card. I used this half so that I could cut for my cards. And let me show you the back. That's just the oranges and the pink that looks like they're water brushed. Here's the bigger, looks like the bigger flower that's in the stamp set. And then here's the other side with Poppy Parade and um, a little design on it. Here's a, just looks like a rose. And here's the background. It's done like in the bumblebee and it has a different design. And these are, look just like hand painted flowers with the petal pink on the back with a still different design. They have really pretty bright colors in them. I really like that. This is another like water brushed background. And I think this one might be the last one. And then it is a really light, like pool party is this color. Um, background. So there, this is a set of the new papers that will be out um, come January that you'll be able to get. It does go along with that set that I used. And also here is the catalog. This will be our mini catalog. I can't open it and show you anything in it, but I can show you the front, which also is the set that I used today. So, um... That it will be our new mini catalog, and then it will be celebration January and February. For every $50 you spend, you will get to pick a free item out of here. It's got a lot of cute stuff in it. Again, I'm sorry that I can't open these, but um, we just can't do it right now. The nah, Stampin' Up! won't let us. So, anyway... Um, I will be debuting a few of the other stamp sets that I got on my early pre-order that I was allowed to get to just kind of show you some ideas of some of the cards and or some of the ways you can use the stamp sets. You know, it helps you decide if that would be a stamp set that you would want to buy without 
buying it than um, deciding you didn't like it or something like that. We don't want you to have to do that. We want you to be pleased with everything you buy. So anyway, that is the end of my video today. I hope all of you guys have a great day. Stay safe and stay healthy. And um, I'll be back with you soon. Bye.